Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do another comparison between an old rig and a new one. In that case I'm comparing the Canwood TS50 with my FTDX10 by Yesu. Old versus new. It's the last weekend of March 2025 and the CQWPX SSB contest is still ongoing. A good chance of another side-by-side -side comparison of two radios. This particular TS50 belongs to Mike, OE4MXB, who borrowed me the rig for a test, so thank you Mike. Let me give you a quick overview over the front panel of the radio. We have the power on off switch. Uh, we have a tuner button. There was a dedicated uh, tuner for this radio. We have the AIP slash ATD button. Uh, AIP means advanced intercept point, so which uh, bypasses the preamp. Then we have the attenuator and then we have both. Then we have a noise blanker. Here we have a lock button and here we have a megahertz button. Uh, this uh, works together with the up and down button. So if you go down and megahertz is enabled, you go one megahertz down, one megahertz up. If you disable one megahertz, you go down the band. So here we are on 12 meters, 15 meters and so on. Down here we have the AF, uh, the volume knob, knob, then we have the squelch. I turn it down because of the noise. Then we have the uh, receiver incremental tuning, which you can enable here. And then you can fine tune your received signal. Then we have a scan button, we have a CLR button, which doesn't mean clear. It has different functions depending in uh, which operation mode you are. Then we have a memory in, memory to VFO, then you can switch between memory and VFO. And on the right hand side we have an AB switch. Uh, let me change the frequency. So that's uh, VFO A, VFO B. Then we have the split button and we have the A equals B, so you can copy uh, from A to B or from B to A. And now we have the same frequency in both VFOs. Uh, down here we have the SSB and CW switch, which also enables fast tuning. And down here we have FM and AM. So let's listen to the 10 meter band. Let me open up the squelch. I guess we need a microphone as well. And let's tune to a station. Here we have a station from Portugal. And there's another station splattering. Let me switch over to the FTDX10. Noise blanker and DNR on the FTDX10 is off to make a fair comparison. So he is 20 over 9 on the FTDX10. Let's switch over. Okay. Uh, oh, also 9 plus 20 on the TS50. Okay, okay, United X7, Quebec, Germany, you're 5 by 9, 9, 4, 1. 
Okay, the the audio is not too bad. It's very nice audio. Of course, there's a limitation on this radio. There is uh, no noise reduction, no filtering. You cannot reduce the bandwidth on this one. I'm not sure what the actual bandwidth is. Well, that's the TS50. That's the naked receiver of the FTDX10. But to be honest, that's not bad. Let's find another station. He is not as strong. Echo India? No. What was the call sign? Here comes the 10. Now he's getting stronger. Tango India 5, Victor Mike Juliet, okay. The antenna is pointing to the south at the moment, so not to his direction. That's the 10. Of course, there's more noise on this old radio. But to be honest, not bad. Still a nice rig. You can have fun with it. Let's find another station. Here we have a nice one. 8 Peter 5 Alpha Barbados. Here comes the 10. He's 20 over. Yeah, also 20 over here on the 10 to 20 over on the FTD, uh, on the sorry, TS50. FTDX 10. Nice. Of course, there is more noise and more splatter on the uh, TS50. Of, of course, I could narrow the bandwidth on the uh, 10, but this would be an unfair comparison. Boy, he's strong. Even with the antenna not pointing directly to Barbados. Let me uh, kick the advanced intercept point in and I do the same on the Yesu. <laughs> He's still 5.9 plus with IP on. Okay, there is definitely a difference now. No, still S9. Also S9 on the TS50. Okay, let's go to 15 meters. Okay, I tried to find a weak station. He is in Italy, S5, about an S5, S6 on the uh, FTDX10. TS50. Okay, 
Hotel India 6 Mexico in the background. That's so cool. <laughs> I like this old radio. Let's go to 20 meters. Okay, here we have a weak station. I didn't got the call sign. It's a YL. Didn't got the call sign, I'm sorry. Okay, now there is a difference. Or maybe not. Still didn't got uh, the call sign. To my ears, when when sitting in front of the station, she is better or more audible on the FTDX10. Down in the noise. Let's uh, find another weak station. Okay, there is Mexico 5 Lima. He is not weak, but there is a uh, stronger station above him. As you can see on the waterfall, there's a really strong station above. He's still audible, even with the strong signal. Let me narrow down the bandwidth. Okay, you still can hear him on the FTDX 10, of course. But let's uh, go up to, yeah, maybe 2.7, 2.8k of bandwidth. And let me switch to the TS50. Okay, now. Another. Another contest station is on top of him. Okay. 
Okay, so on two. One six seven. One six seven. Three. One six seven. Many five. Seven three. Good luck. Ciao. Florida four. Delta Papa Whisky contest. Okay, he is stronger than the uh, English station, but there is still this really, really strong station above. Let's see how the uh, TS-50 can handle such a strong signal. Let's go up a bit. Radio Uniform 1 Alpha. He is 40 over 9. With the preamp on, of course. Let's uh, tune the TS-50 to uh, 288 and switch over. Nice. This old rig has such a nice audio. Okay, in my opinion, you still can have a lot of fun with such an old radio. So, if you find one in good condition and for a good price, uh, I would say buy it. But uh, be prepared to spend some money for future repairs, I would say. You always have to remember these rigs are over 30 years old and they can make troubles. Mike's radio also had some issues when he bought it, but it was in a workshop and um, it's fully functional again. So definitely thumbs up for the TS-50. Thanks for watching. 73. Bye-bye.